What about you? This week's video, we're going to be asking business owners tips and advice that give somebody starting up a business in 2023 and beyond. Let's go. I'm with Darren Waters here and he's going to give us some tips on starting your own business. Go ahead, Darren. I think one of the first tips I'd say is to work hard, do a good job and be reliable and that will get your name out and get your recommendations. What is the best way to get your name out there if you're just starting up a business? I think nowadays it's social media. E even for the older people, they tend to find you on Google or Yelp or whatever. So social media is the way to go, I think. So a tip for starting your business, I would definitely say one of them has to be consistency. So when you're starting, whatever plan you decide to go down and whatever formation you make in your business, I will just say stay consistent with it and just stay true to it. At some point, if it's all been worked out well, it'll work off in the long term. Good tip for starting your business is definitely consistency. Again, hourly rates are always good because you know you're getting obviously that amount of work in. Uh, it's good to stick to an hourly rate because you know you're going to get you know work coming all the time. Don't try to outgrow yourself. Uh, start small. Keep the customers that you've got happy, and grow from there and expand slowly to a scale that you can manage. Good tip that I start of is be upfront and honest with the customer from the outset. Tell them what you want going forward and get that agreement if it means written down information just be honest and upfront to the customer i think when uh, starting up a business and you know getting your first customers yeah when you make a arrangement to see them you know don't give excuses go and see yeah. them or you know phone up and reschedule to yeah. see them starting up in business find out who your your local dealers are what other businesses and contractors are doing just having a good network of people that can supply you with the materials, the supplies that you need, the machines that you need, but also just to have a good rapport with the other guys locally. You know, a good network's always a good thing to have when you when you need to get work done. First of all, be cost effective for the area you're in. Be reliable, trustworthy. That's my main values. Be there when you say you're going to yep. be there. Be reliable and charge a fair price for what you think you're worth. How do you set your price in the area that you work in? Most of mine are set prices. There's a lot of competition. There's always somebody out there that's going to undercut you. Always will be. But, I mean, that's the game we're in. You do a good job. Word of mouth always gets around. I would say the most important thing is uh, communicate with your customers, and whether it's text, email or phone, and take into account your costs, your overheads. Um, don't sell yourself short pricing's right so you don't go bust. There's hundreds, thousands of us out there, do you know what, and there's a place for everybody, so have a bit of belief in yourself. Two, spend wisely. Whatever yep. your, your thoughts are, you've got to look at it and you've got to look at what money you've got, look at what you want your equipment to achieve and spend wisely. And thirdly, is equipment again, but maintenance. And maintenance is the key to anything. You've spent your money, you want to look after that investment. Get it greased, get it oiled, get it serviced, new blades whenever you can, keep it in tip-top condition and you won't go far wrong. What tips would you give somebody starting up their own business? I think if, if you're going to start a lawn care business, the first thing to do is do your research. I would even recommend uh, perhaps joining the UK Lawn Care Association because uh, there's a, a large group of people that you can network with and give you advice. But definitely do your research, do your preparation, put together a decent business, a proper business plan as well. Yep. Um, because it's really important. Really important, really important to, do to, people, to do that. A lot of people would overlook that. Yeah, yeah, to do to do that, then you know, have as you as you start off, have some measurements in place to um, to uh, see how you're doing, really. Yeah. My last question for you, Tom, would be, what do you think is the most cost-effective way to advertise if you were just starting a business? Certainly, digital now, using uh, SEO, Google AdWords, social media yeah. has become much more important, and that's a growing area. And don't underestimate, you know, the local contacts that you you already have where, where you live in the area area that you're based. Tips I'd give someone starting a business would be probably start as many revenue streams as you possibly can. You never know which ones will take off and which ones don't. And as the business grows, focus on those revenue streams that are really pushing and really earning you some money. I use Jobber, uh, it just makes my life a lot easier. Scheduling wise, invoicing wise, everything comes in, everything goes out. I know when I've been paid. If I haven't been paid, it sends invoice reminders automatically. You can set up automatic payments, so you know you're definitely going to get paid. And it just makes our life a lot easier. If you've got a small team, a small team um, you can send their rotors out to them on the mobile app. 
and yeah, job is just a lifesaver in the business. Do you use the auto pay feature? Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of customers um, on the auto pay. Um, next year, I'll be transferring all of them to the auto pay. And how, do you think the, the auto pay is like a big step up? I mean, it, it's like a it's like a game changer. Massive step yeah, up. Massive, massive high, step yeah. up. Yeah. My my invoices are paid when I want them to be paid. If I if I'm invoicing monthly, I'm paid on the first of the month without yeah. a doubt. Receipts are sent to the customers straight away. It's just so much easier. Yep.